My five month old daughter is getting up on her hands and knees. All week, I'm gonna get up at five o'clock in the morning, do a quick little Costco haul. It's one of our hens went broody and I wanna let her hatch her eggs. My name is Megan. Welcome to my weekly vlog. It is Monday morning and our cat Loki went into labor this morning. She's had one kitten so far and I'm sure she'll have more. I, I hope she has more. And Sophia is just down for her second nap. She's taken a really long nap so far. It's been like an hour and a half, which is really nice because I've actually been able to do some stuff, make myself coffee and work on some business stuff. So she doesn't usually take that long of naps, but I'm really enjoying it. Today I'm planning on going to town and picking up a bale of straw for garden mulching and I need to refresh the chicken nest boxes and then I'm also going to pick up a dozen of hatching eggs because one of our hens went broody and I want to let her hatch her eggs. So I'm super excited about that. I haven't had a mother hen raise her chicks since I was little and we had a flock of chickens then. So I'm super excited about that. I love baby chicks and it's so cute when the mom and the babies are walking around the yard so that'll be really fun. Luke doesn't have work today, but he's driving to Missoula to Home Depot to pick up a bunch of windows and doors that we're gonna put in our house. We're in the middle of a remodel on our 100 plus year old farmhouse, so I'm really excited to get new windows and doors in. We're adding big French doors in the back, opening up onto the really nice porch with like really cool rustic beams out there, so I'm super excited about that. It's gonna really open up the whole kitchen. This week, I decided to do the 5 a.m. challenge and I actually started yesterday but basically all week I'm gonna get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and see if I can stick with this and do it and see how it goes and if I want to continue to do it afterwards. I would like to start getting up earlier just because it's really nice to have some time in the morning before Sophia wakes up to make my coffee and eat breakfast and me and Luke like to do our devotions in the morning. We pray and read the Bible and also a little devotional book so I'm going to try to get up at 5 a.m. every morning this week and so we'll, we will see how this goes. I am not a person who naturally likes to get up early in the morning. I despise getting up early. I love staying up late and hate getting up early so this is gonna be interesting but I really think it'll be good for me to start doing this. So yesterday we got up at 5 and it actually went really well. It lined up perfectly with when Sophia needed to eat so I was kind of awake from doing that. Today was a little bit harder. Um, she ended up eating for a long time and not really wanting to go back to bed, so I ended up laying in bed for like until 5.30 and then I got up, but I was sort of awake, so it kind of counted, but it was not quite as good. But we will see how tomorrow goes. I'm going to go work on some video editing, but before I do that, I wanted to show you this coffee mug that I got uh, this last Saturday. My One of my best friends made it for me. She owns Liz Johnson Pottery, she has an Etsy shop, and she's at the Hamilton Farmer's Market with us every week. So this is the coffee mug that she made me. It's got this mustard yellow color that I really love and it has this lid to keep it warm. Like, isn't this awesome? This is like my dream coffee cup. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. This is my favorite color and I really like big coffee mugs like this. I can fit a lot of coffee in here. So. I've been really enjoying this and I will link her shop down below. You should definitely check it out. She has some amazing stuff. I have a lot of her pottery around my house. She's she's made me like soap holders and dish scrubby holders and little pitchers and honey jar and a butter holder and like all kinds of stuff and a utensil holder and she does amazing work. Well I just got home and 
I picked up straw and Luke is not going to be thrilled because I put it in the uh, passenger seat of our little car and it made a huge mess. So, see? There's straw in the seat next to me. <laughs> it's such a farm girl move. <laughs> and then I have my hatching eggs right here. So I'm very excited about that. There's five silky eggs and these are some a bunch of different kinds so I'm really excited to see what they hatch. So then I also went and picked up a cat kennel for my mom's house. I'm gonna go make the mama hen a nice little place away from the other chickens and she'll be in the cat kennel so that she can stay a little bit warm and then we have a chain link fence that I'm gonna line with um, poultry fencing and then keep her in there so that she can be by herself and then when the chicks hatch they can be separate from the other hens so they don't get beat up. So that's what I'm going to work on now. Hopefully the baby stays sleeping for a little while longer. Our car is a mess. Check out this dress you guys. Isn't that cute? It's got some little buttons and it matches with these headbands that I got. Oh! Trying to get the camera. She is stinking adorable. Aren't you? This morning didn't quite work out. We got up at 5.30, which is still pretty good. And it was only because the same thing that happened yesterday. Sophia was taking a while to eat, so I was just stuck in bed. And Luke was like, well, I might as well stay in here and sleep a little bit longer. So then we got up at 5.30, which I'm still very proud of. So that's going pretty well. And I'm hoping that I can give that mama hen her eggs today. She's not quite as settled in as I would have hoped by now. I'm a little bit worried that because I moved her nest, she decided uh, this is this is dumb. I'm not gonna do this anymore. So I'm really hoping that I didn't mess it up because I really want her to hatch her eggs. So, and I just spent a ton of money on hatching eggs. So one of those chickens is gonna hatch these eggs. <laughs> but this morning has been kind of a lazy morning. Me and the baby are both still in pajamas. I'm in my mom cardigan. Mom sweatpants, you know, the works. I haven't done my hair or anything, and yeah, the baby's still in pajamas. I don't know if we will get dressed today because I don't have anywhere to be and I'm comfortable, so it works, I guess. So a little update on the broody hen. She isn't quite totally broody enough to give her the eggs, so I've moved her back to her chicken coop. It's still inside the cat carrier, and I'm planning on probably putting the eggs in there tonight or tomorrow morning. I just wanna make sure that she's actually broody again. So yeah, I'm not worried about it. I just want to make sure that she will actually sit on them if I start them under her. She's been getting up and straightening her arms like that. She's not up on her knees yet, but this is crazy. She can like fully extend her arms and like push her upper body all the way up. And then like she just looks around and then goes back down. Oh, look at you. <laughs> You're so big. Sophia started getting up on her hands and knees today. Can you believe that? 
my five month old daughter is getting up on her hands and her knees. Like all of a sudden she just rolled over, scooted her knees under her and got up on her arms. And she just like was there looking at me. I was like, what are you doing to me girl? You can't grow up that fast. So I've been trying to catch it on camera for you guys, but it's really quick when she does it and she's really sneaky. So, but I will do the best I can. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday! So, I was gonna just stay home and clean today. I got the living room cleaned and I was gonna move on to the kitchen, but then my mom called me and said that she's going to Missoula today and asked if I wanted to come along. And I really, really need some stuff from Costco, so I'm gonna be going to Missoula today. So a little change of plan, but it's gonna be good to get that stuff. I was also gonna film a video today about how to make elderberry syrup, but that's gonna have to wait until tomorrow probably, but it's fine, you guys probably won't know the difference anyway. It's gonna come out at the same time. Anyway, so. The kitchen will have to stay dirty for a little bit longer though, which kind of bothers me, but. All right, I wanted to just do a quick little Costco haul so you can you guys can see kind of what we get at Costco most of the time. I got way more stuff of each kind than I usually do just because lately I've been hating to drive all the way to Missoula with the baby. So I really stocked up on stuff, as you can tell. So I got two bags of tortilla chips and then two, two packs of organic salsa. And then I got two different kinds of coffee beans. This is City Brew Coffee and this is Big Sky Coffee Beans. So they're both like made in Montana, certified and really good. I got four bottles of maple syrup, organic maple syrup, and then I got three two packs of peanut butter. I already opened one and used the other bottle, well not the entire thing, I used some of the other bottle. And then I got two bags of chocolate chips, a thing of ketchup, and all this will last us a nice long time. The other thing I got there was a set of bras because it's they have some really nice Calvin Klein just really nice, stretchy, comfortable bras, so I got a bigger size than I had before I was breastfeeding because I've been missing wearing those. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that little haul and got to see a little bit of what we get. We get more things like um, corn tortillas and this isn't everything we get, but we were stocked up on everything else. Good morning guys, it's Thursday now. I realized that I forgot to update you on when I got up yesterday. I didn't get up until 5.30 and Again, it was because Sophia was nursing, and that just seems to be kind of the norm now, and I'm totally happy with 5.30. I was a little bit grumpy though, and I feel bad for Luke, but I was, I'm was i kind of reaching the point where it's not as exciting anymore, and it's just annoying to get up that early, and I don't really want to, but I'm trying to make myself still, because it's re it's makes me so much more productive during the day. So then today, I didn't actually get up until 7, and I feel so guilty. I actually feel as guilty as I used to feel when I would sleep until 11, but I just had a really bad headache and every time I'd start to wake up it would just like start throbbing and if I would go back to sleep it would feel better. So I was like, well, I'll just I'll just sleep in today and it's okay. So I just snuggled the baby and got up at 7. I was still able to have half an hour until she woke up at 7.30. So I was able to let the chickens out, let the broody hen have a little bit of time out of her cage to eat and drink and make my coffee and then the baby woke up and we've been playing and now she's finally down for her nap and I have just set my timer for 20 minutes to clean the kitchen and then I'm going to work on some editing work on editing some videos and I also want to film a video today what did you do <laughs> you can't see oh no here here we go now you can see why do you keep pulling that over your eyes? Oyster shells. We've already gotten three eggs. Fresh straw in our nest boxes. Update on the brewery hen. She 
has broken a total of two silky eggs now. See, she's kind of fluffing up and getting her eggs underneath her. So I know she's broody. She's just not doing a very good job. been a really busy day I've gotten a lot done and the baby took a two-hour nap on me which was really fun so and then earlier I was helping her get up on her hands and knees and then she would just sit there for a long time it was so fun and she's like growing up so fast I can't believe that she can like be up on her hands and knees and stay there for a while it's just so crazy to me. So tonight we're gonna go hang out with some of Luke's family at the lake and it's gonna be a lot of fun. back from the farmer's market like an hour ago and it went really well. We made more than we made last week. The baby did really good. She was smiling at everyone again. It was pretty fun and now we're back home and I'm gonna work on video editing and Luke's putting in a new window in the kitchen over the, over the kitchen sink so I'm really excited about that. There is a big hole in the kitchen. Luke's putting in the new kitchen window. <laughs> cleaning afterwards. I bought some tomato plants and an eggplant at the farmer's market so that I can plant those in my garden this week. So I'll probably be doing a whole separate video with my what I planted in my garden. I got up at 5.30 again today so it seems like 5.30 is working out a little bit better than 5. So I think we're gonna keep doing it because I have actually been really enjoying it. It's nice to get up before the baby and have some time to do stuff and be able to hang out with Luke and make breakfast and do our reading. So I've been really liking it, but I don't think I'm gonna keep getting up at five. I think 5.30 or six, it's working out a little bit better for us. So I think this challenge was a success. I really enjoyed it, surprisingly, because I'm not a morning person or I wasn't up until now. So now I'm a morning person and that's awesome. I've always wanted to be. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I post new mommy and lifestyle videos every Monday and Saturday, and I post a weekly vlog like this every Thursday. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.